Well, hello, Sir David the Bard. Uh, I'm coming to you from uh, the uh, Kangaroo City, and uh, I have a, an exciting show for you today. <laughs> Yesterday I had two friends come from uh, Tennessee. I won't give you their last names because <laughs> they're probably wanted somewhere. <laughs> so Allison and her, her good husband uh, drove all the way from Tennessee to come to uh, Kangaroo City and uh, we went out to dinner. Now, this is a little embarrassing, okay? But you know, <laughs> I'm embarrassing. I uh, wore my top hat uh, all day yesterday, and I kept, uh, we went over to uh, Chuck Arama. Uh, and for you people all from all over the world, it's a, um, a buffet. Uh, and um, we went in, and they were very sweet. Allison and her husband uh, paid $100 uh, for all of us to go over to the buffet. Well, we are having a good time. And we could eat anything as much as we wanted, whatever. And my uh, in-laws got to go. And, uh, you know, coming from the Philippines and being hungry their whole life, uh, it was exciting to watch them. Just so much food that they had no idea even how to put it on their plates. Well, now you know, I'm getting old. <laughs> and... Yeah, I'm liking it in some ways, and in other ways, I don't like it. Uh, the nice thing about being old is uh, people cut you a lot of slack on a lot of things. On a lot of things, and I guess they should, because we can't do everything that we used to be able to do. Now, I, uh, you know, ate like everybody else, and it was crowded. I mean, there wasn't a seat in the place. And I'm sitting there eating, and I fart real loud. I've never done that before in public. <laughs> what can I say? What <laughs> doctors help me? <laughs> Come on, I have many doctors that watch my program, right? <laughs> anyway, um. I'm so embarrassed, I don't know if I should turn around to the lady behind me and say I'm sorry uh, that gas came out of my butt and made that, that sound, uh, or if I should just uh, sit there and pretend it wasn't me and just <laughs> point over to the next guy. <laughs> There are two bad decisions there, there's, or there's two bad choices. So I took the silent treatment. <laughs> I don't say anything. Well, you know, I, I now I guess, now that I'm old, I have to be more careful that um, uh, the poo-poo machine, <laughs> it doesn't work like it did when I was 20. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, that, that brings me to the... Uh, to the article down below. Please go down below and click on my article down there that I put on the website there. There's this guy and his wife that's suing a company because they said the, c the company fired them and uh, said that they passed too much gas in the office, and it made the office, <laughs> I guess, unofficeable. <laughs> you couldn't work in it. <laughs> you know, I don't know. You had to have a gas mask to work in this house I, or in this office. I don't know. Now you know that I'm an expert on uh, ADA. I know a lot about Americans with disability because I've been disabled uh, 20 years and have the disability plaque and the whole thing and the, and the privileges and the responsibilities of uh, ADA uh, supporting me and helping me, you know, be equal to the rest of the population. So anyway, I'm sitting here thinking. Now the woman said that he had um, serious complications from a gastrointestinal operation. Now, I'm trying to think how A, uh, uh, AAA, 
I love dementia. Dementia is fun for me. For the rest of you, <laughs> I don't give a shit. Anyway, ADA, how it would cover him farting constantly uh, in the office. So, I'm thinking, he could ask for a, what was called a reasonable accommodation. And, um, they would have to give him one. Now, the, the boss, I think, uh, met ADA requirements by allowing the man uh, to work at home. So, the man refused. He wanted to go to the office. So, uh, how could you sit beside this guy and do your work? I, I don't know, you know, ADA, he did allow him to go home to work, so the office uh, manager, owner, uh, met the requirements of accommodation, uh, so the lawsuit should go nowhere, and uh, it's without merit, because um, it seems like the man wanted just to <laughs> punish his co-workers. I guess that was his, his uh, ruling there, that he or his purpose. So anyway, take a look down below, pick up on the, uh, the link, uh, see what you think. <laughs> and the next time you're in a buffet, <laughs> don't sit by the bard. <laughs> I'm praying, lay in the air, oh God, hear the words of my mouth three times. And please, don't cut my throat, don't cut my heart, and don't cut my guts out. And I hope uh, you have health and enable me on the bone, strength and voice, and send you power and a priest and be upon me and upon my posterity through all generations of time and throughout all eternity. This is the bard and the bard's gone.